So boys and girls, or sometimes uh, as you proceed, I know many of you would like to proceed with education, probably to Kenyatta University, Moy University, uh, Egerton, among others. Uh, you will refer uh, to boys and girls as an area. Uh, Archegonia. But that is only for those ones who will be interested in taking uh, biology uh, as a course in uh, the university. Not all of us can go to university, but I believe it's possible for everybody in this school to go to university. Uh, for the new students, uh, the name of this school remains uh, Jikaze Academy, and Jikaze in English means work hard, be by yourself, don't wait for somebody to solve your problems. You know what? The school motto here is uh, squinking uh, wheels gets uh, the grease. So if somebody is uh, moving a machine, probably operating a machine with like 10 wheels, and one is doing kiki, kiki, kiki. so you're not gonna put grease on the ones that are not so put grease on the one that is uh, squeaking so in other words jitete speak for yourself don't expect uh, me to come and help you if i don't know what your problem is i told you that all the teachers have quit and now we're gonna have multi teaching I am taking offer from all the teachers uh, because they have quit uh, the board of governors uh, have no money and then they have their own issues uh, the chairman of the board of governors uh, mr. KK uh, who is a, a Koya uh, is having trouble with the secretary uh, Koguda Koya who happens to be uh, his uh, son and then uh, uh, the son is the treasurer and the board of uh, governor is not getting along uh, very well. Uh, you know what uh, they say in uh, the Kikuyu community that uh, between a son and a mother or a son and a father there's, uh, uh, there's no boundary when it comes to, to money. In other words, uh, it doesn't matter whether somebody is your son or is your father. If money is involved, uh, you become two uh, separate entities. So in other words, the school is in a crisis, and I talked to uh, the, uh, the Sogomo. Uh, I don't know who is the Sogomo today. Teacher Service Commission, uh, I called, I asked for Mr. Sogomo, and then they told me uh, Sogomo left a uh, long time ago. So I don't know who is Sogomo today, but I'll keep on nagging them, calling them, uh, see whether they can give us uh, some teachers. But in the meantime, I am taking over. Remember, at the end of... Uh, the year you have your national uh, exam, uh, Kenya National Ex uh, uh, Examination uh, Council will be providing an exam uh, to everybody in Kenya who is in Form 4, regardless of whether uh, you have teachers or not. So, But I feel like Kenya National Ex uh, Examination Council has actually become Kenya National Ex Communication Council. In other words, when you get a D in the national exam, you are technically excommunicated. You are nobody uh, in Kenya, uh, you, you will never get a job somewhere. If you have a D, it's like uh, uh, the Kikuyus will usually put it. If you have like seven Ds, D, 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 D. D in math, D in English, D in Kiswahili, D in CRI, D in physics, D in chemistry, D in biology factorial. It means like so in other words, it's like I am a fool, push me, I'm trying to get out of mud, I can't make it. In other words, you are a dogomodi, but that's not really fair. I believe examination is not the best way of uh, testing a student, but it is the only way available in, in Kenya, because some people are not very good test takers, but all the same, Kenya National Examination Council NEC has become a NEC, and the exam is actually a rope. So, technically speaking, we have different communities in this uh, classroom. We have one Jalu there, one Kikuyu, there is a Maasai. Others, we don't even know uh, where they come from because they were street children. We picked them from uh, the streets of Nairobi. So, we're going to have a lot of mother tongue influence. We have father tongue influences too. I don't know why people say mother tongue influence. Why not a father 
time inference. And then, of course, we have neighbor time inference. When I was growing up, uh, my, my neighbor had uh, a very queer uh, wife, and the wife also had a very queer husband because both of them were taking care of very cruel to one another. So he used to beat the wife at night and then I would hear the wife screaming, and that time I was only like one year old. So before I learned to talk, I could hear some uh, terminologies, Kikuyu terminologies. And I, therefore, most of the influence I have in talking is not my mother tongue, it's not even my father's, it's my neighbor's uh, uh, tongue influence. Not even my neighbor, really, it's my, my neighbor's wife tongue influence because she's the one who was uh, screaming uh, most and then others have none of the above uh, time influence because they were born probably in Nairobi before we corrected them for example some of us will talk about uh, the river others talk about the river to me there's no difference the river and the river but the river I might be referring to like Lifagikira, Dote, Sagara and uh, Jordan, where Jesus uh, was baptized. But when I talk about the river here, it's still sounding different to some people. But for us, I will talk point of the river here or the river. Uh, the river. I remember one time I taught in uh, Fihiga Academy and I gave them a test. I was teaching them biology. We also had multi teaching there because teachers. And quit. I teach. I taught them biology, and I taught them about the liver functions of uh, a river. Uh, we include what I'm just about to write here. 